for now, we're going to head into the kitchen with Patrick New England Quahog Chowder, right? That's right. No matter how you pronounce it, right? Quahog, 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 Quahog. Yeah, something right. like that. <laughs> this is Chef Alan Judkins from the uh, Wilderness Cafe Zoo. Believe tomorrow night at Roger Williams Park Zoo, rain or shine. So go check it out. Uh, some great food will be there tomorrow, including what you have for us here this morning. What is this? A little Quahog Chowder. All right. How do you put it together? Because, you know, you go to the restaurant, you order it, and then it's just there. A lot of people don't know how you put it together. Well, first, we're going to render some bacon. Then once that's rendered down, and that's the whole idea of that is to get the, the bacon fat out so that way you're going to saute your onions and celery in that. Then we're going to put the thyme and the bay leaf in, and that's going to allow that to blossom Okay. once the heat's applied to it. And then once that's going, we're going to add a little extra butter, and then the flour, make a roux, add the juice, that'll thicken it up, and then... We got the uh, the clams. We're gonna we're gonna do some uh, clams out of the shell. Okay. So that way they can. Uh, Here we go. You can zoom out. Oh, sorry. Oops, that was me, not him, not the chef. But that's the clams right there. We can get another shot at that. Now the clams itself, uh, you cook those separately, or how does that work with them? What this is, we're gonna cook them separately so that way they open. Okay. And once they open, we can take that out. We're gonna try and save the juice so that way that can go in as well. Okay. You know, waste nothing. Get a shot of them. I'll show you. There you go, right there. How many do you cook usually for one uh, batch of uh, chowder? It varies on the size. Okay. You know, uh, what do we have there? One, two, three, four, five? There's about a, a dozen. Little, right? Yeah, about a dozen. All right, perfect. Uh, Alan, thanks so much for coming in this morning. Again, Zubilee tomorrow night at the zoo. We'll have much more than that throughout the uh, course of the hour here. Rain or shine, big event at the zoo tomorrow night. You can find the recipe for this meal on our website at foxprovidence.com. But for now, we're going back into the kitchen where I can smell pretty much everything you guys are cooking. Oh, it is smelling up. amazing in here. Alan Judkins, we are now doing what you call rendering the rendering bacon. The bacon. What does rendering bacon mean? Rendering means you're going to take that fat that's on the sliced bacon oh, okay. and melt it. Oh. And we're going to use that fat to cook the onions and celery. Mm, I love it. Rendering bacon. I put it up in the top ten list of things to do on a Friday. Okay. So how much bacon do we use for the recipe? For the recipe, I believe it's about a half a pound. Okay. It doesn't take too long, but chop it up into fine little pieces, tiny, right? Tiny, tiny. As tiny as you can get it. Okay. So one, once that is done, then, I mean, w do we just add the vegetables mm -hmm. in there? Is that yep. basically what we do? Okay. And actually, this is rendered enough. Mm -hmm. Literally, we're just going to... Okay. Just pour it. What is that? That's celery. Celery and a lot celery. of onion, right? Usually you want to do two to one, onion to celery. Okay. Celery's a little sweeter. Onion won't get sweet until you caramelize it. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to take it all the way down. Any particular choice of onion for this recipe? Just a regular? Regular Spanish onion would do fine. Okay. If, if you use a Vidalia, you're going to get a sweeter product. Okay. So it depends how sweet you want it to be. All right. Now you're going to be at Zubali this weekend, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And it's rain or shine. We rain want to let know that. Is this one of the recipes you're going to be making for the event? Or? Uh, or is this just one that you wanted to share? This is the one today? we're sharing. Okay, gotcha. I, I honestly don't know if we're going to have this. Either. I believe right. they do have chowder. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to mix all the rest of this together. We're going to get our chowder simmering on the stove in just a minute. And we'll see you in the kitchen in just a minute. Alan, now we'll send things back to you. Welcome back in the Roadshow Kitchen. We've got the Wilderness Cafe here. And Alan Junkins is making our Quahog, Quahog chowder. We've rendered the bacon. <laughs> Right? Bacon's rendered. And uh, what, we've got the celery, onions, everything's going on in that pot right now. The thyme, the bay leaf, we've mm -hmm. got the butter melted. Okay. All we need to do now is add the flour, mm -hmm. create the roux. You can grab me the flour, please. I will do that. Thank you, sir. Well, what are we creating? This is going to make a roux. What oh, it is roux, is equal yep. parts flour and mm -hmm. butter. Mm -hmm. And then what that is is that's a thickener for the chowder. Right. Now, you've got to be careful with the roux because you don't want it to get all chunky, right? My father has always told me that. you got to... Mix, mix, well, mix. Chunky's fine as long as you have the ability to break it down once the fluid hits it. Okay, gotcha. Your father has a problem with his roux? With the roux. My dad, he's, he's a really good cook, my dad, i got to tell you. And whenever I make gravy with him and we're using roux, he's like, we got to keep mixing it. Don't want chunks. Is that how he talks? <laughs> all high-pitched like that? Yeah. No. No, no, no. All right, so there's... the, the uh, stock right in front of you in the green bowl. Okay. This is clam stock. Mm -hmm. And then the diced. Diced clams. Yes. Or Are you salad. adding all the juice from that in there too? Or yeah. Yeah, okay. Can we pour it in? Yep, go ahead. Danger. Danger will rub. Get enough in there. Yeah. yeah. Left over. All right. So the idea is once that thickens, uh -huh. we're get, we add cream to thin it down. Oh, okay. And you don't add the cream until the very end because the cream will break on you. So, right, and you don't want that to happen exactly. either. You don't want chunks and you don't want the cream to break down. Exactly. All right. Oh, you add the Worcestershire. I add, I add Worcestershire. Yeah. And I add Tabasco. Oh, yeah. Uh, so heavy on the Tabasco. Heavy on the Tabasco. Heavy yes. on the Tabasco. Yes. Oh, we goodness. like it hot, hot, hot. Ah, but you see, the Tabasco is merely an accent flavor. Keep going. 
This is an accent. <laughs> you can add some more later to your all own right, individual dish. I, will, I, will. I agree with you. I would have pumped in all the high octane stuff. To Absolutely. How long do you think it takes to thicken up, Alan? The to thicken up? It can take anywhere on high, probably 10 minutes. Okay, so for people who want to try it at home, you mean, obviously you can eyeball it, you know when it's mm -hmm. ready to go. Okay. Sure. How much cream do we add to it? Half a quart to something this size. Mm -hmm. okay. um, but once again, it's, it's to whatever thickness that you want it at. Mm -hmm. Some people like it very, very thick. Mm -hmm. I don't. I, I like it a little bit smoother. I like it so it's not going to get stuck after. Yeah, you long. don't want the spoon to just be like, be able exactly. to stand up and, in it, right? I mean, we've all seen that. You don't I want know, to be we like have. Pudding. Yeah, when you, when you go to that right family here. cookout and, oh, try the chowder, and there's three boots, three yeah, right. standing out of it. Looks like it's been <laughs> sitting out there for a de yeah. couple of days. Tell me about uh, while this does its thing, tell me about Zubali because we, we, we've heard so much about the event and. Uh, uh, it's rain or shine tomorrow night, and rain there'll be shine. just food everywhere, right? I believe there's food. There's going to be fudge. Ooh, uh, food and fudge. Hey, nothing beats fudge. I love fudge. You know, my wife and my kids had summer fudge last year. Okay. Oh, yeah? yeah? Every week they had fudge. <laughs> um, come see the animals. Yeah. Because you know, they, the, they are the show. They are the show. Absolutely. But the food's a good thing, to, a good excuse to want to go see the animals. Oh, of course. That's right. And how much, is this going to be the, what you'll be cooking tomorrow? I believe we're going to have chowder. Chowder, yeah? Yeah. Don't you get to make that choice? You're the chef. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we do have our, uh, I believe our obligations. It's your thing, man. It's your sandbox. I gotta you say, don't you think Zubilee is such a great event? I mean, the food's always fabulous. It's just so fun to be out with a crowd. It's kind of like the kickoff to summer, you know? It's it's great. Absolutely. And do you get to taste this anybody else, or are you going to be behind the, the cooker all day? I'll be behind the scenes. All right. Gotcha. Absolutely. Well, Patrick, I yes. put some of the chowder in two bowls and kind of letting it cool for a minute so we don't scald ourselves because it's super hot. But here's the, oh, get the Tabasco oh, out. Here you are. Can I get a little splash of that too? I'm just going to turn that off. Oh, look at that. You'd like a splash? I'd like a you splash. Not like a, t like a half the bottle, but like a okay, little bit. Okay, you say when, okay? Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Stop! <laughs> It took a while to get it. All right, all right. Get it back. I gotta right. try a bite of this potato and Tabasco and Quahog. Uh oh. What's the matter? Is that hot? I got like all the Tabasco. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> la, 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 la. Very tasty though. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna do to Patrick when this break is done. Oh, this is good. Try yours. I'm going to. Mm. The texture is perfect too, by the Thank way, you. Chef. Thank perfect. Nice Color is great. Oh, it's good. Isn't it Very good? good? This is one of those days too where, I mean, this recipe is pretty easy to make. It's going to be it's raining all day. It's like 60 degrees outside. So mm -hmm. people at home, buy the recipe ingredients, foxprovidence.com. Alan? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Coming in to share this great recipe for the Quahog chowder with us. I think this needs more Tabasco. <laughs> yeah, why don't you add like the whole bottle and see how you feel, all right? I just did over here. <laughs> Cheers, Michelle. Cheers. Cheers to Tabasco. Straight.